Hi, this is Jason again from Atomics Lasers, and today uh, we're gonna go over the uh, ND Yeg laser. So this is what happens: the all the parts that we have, when we first open the box, right? So we're gonna go from right to left. On the very right side, we have the water input. So later, I'm gonna show you guys how you can uh, input the water, or so um, input the water into the machine through this tubing to actually help cool down the laser. All right. The second one to the right is the uh, ND Yeg laser handle. Mm -hmm. And this is the one that actually does the lasering. Then on the middle here, we have the main machine. So this is the, the laser machine. And then on the very left side, on the very top, that's a goggle for your patient. And then right below that is the goggles uh, for operator. And uh, below that are the three different heads. So the 1064 nanometers wavelength, as well as the 532 and the carbon head. And at the very bottom here, we have the foot pedal for initi initiating the, the Yeg laser and the power cord that goes along to power the machine. And the very uh, top left here, we have the handle holder for um, putting the, once you have the handle plugged in, this is how you um, hold the handle. Like, so it attaches to the machine. Or, or else you have nowhere to put the handle currently uh, with this machine. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna go over the steps of installing this laser. First, you probably want to have this handle here on this end. Right, we have to have this installed first because um, we're gonna fill it with water and water will go through this tubing here essentially. So it's very essential to have this handle installed first. And to this, install this handle, you probably want to have the electric side up and plug this plus into the very front side here. Right, matching the matching these two holes with these two holes down here. Okay, now once we have the <clears throat> handle part um, plugged in, we want to have open this goggle. There inside here, there are two screws. You want to screw to the side of this two handle here to secure the handle. So it, this allows to allows the holes to be completely secure. You want to tighten a little bit on this side and on the right side you want to tighten a, a little bit as well. And then as, as, as when you start to feel it kind of drags, you just want to tighten both sides together to make sure that the handle is evenly has even pressure on both sides to make sure the, all the contact points are are on point. All right. Once you have the front side um, plugged in, uh, you want to turn the machine to its back. You want to unscrew this um, injection port. You want to leave the drainage port on and uh, undra undrain this overflow point as well. So. Um, how much water do you feel is actually when you, you feel it to a point where um, water starts coming out of this overflow port. So you want to leave this, these two unscrewed um, and just put water using the tubing, using this tubing here, right, until, until the water comes out of overflow and then you know it's full. So then, you, then after that, you just screw it on both sides. Remember to keep this two uh, to keep this machine on, on a level ground, so the overflow point is accurate, or and so the water doesn't flow backwards into the machine. I'm just tilting this machine for demonstration purposes, and the power core is essential. It's very self-explanatory. You just take the power core and plug it in here, and then you take the foot switch as well on the other side here. Um, there's a notch at the very bottom. I'm not sure if you can see on this video, but there's a notch um, in the round, roundness of this port. Uh, you want to match the notch with this notch in this port. And then there you are, you're done installing. And next I'll show you how to turn on and operate this machine. So one last thing is to install the, the laser. So we have three, dif three different tips. And essentially this laser head, you just screw this, select the um, wavelength that you want. So there's wavelength, uh, wavelength imprinted on this tip and just screw it on. And you can get the wavelength that you actually want or desire.